All right, we got the Mercedes here, the GL350, taking out the rear struts. So first, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to take out the the quarter panel. That's the one over here. I did the one on the right already. So show you the one on the left. Let's get started. Okay, first, um, let's start with uh, taking out this uh, door seal panel. And then uh, you just peel off this uh, weather strip so that we could expose the retainers on this side right here. So Peel off the the weather strip. And then uh, those are the retainers right here that holds this panels to the body of the vehicle. So that's what holds everything in place. Uh, to take that off, I'll show you. I'll just use the flat screwdriver. Just kind of pry it from uh, underneath and then pop it out. And then there's a last one right there. Okay, next um, on the seat belt here in the lower, there's a bolt that anchor the seat seat belt down. It's it's in uh, it's in the middle of this uh, quarter panel, so we had to take out this uh, bolt so that we could uh, move the seat belt over. What I use is uh, well, this is uh, the the size is a three T forty, but it's too long. Um, you can Flip the seat over if you want to, uh, or uh, you could use this uh, low profile one here. It's like a bit, but it's a it's like a star. The shape of this bit. My first option looks like it's gonna work. You you it will go in there. Yeah, it, it will go in, and just. Keep spitting it. Okay, it's loose now. There's a spacer in here, so be careful, don't lose that. Yeah, spacer. Okay. You don't want to use that spacer. Alright, um... The only bolts that holds these panels are these three, these three torques. This one right here, the black one, uh, looks like it's like a luggage anchor. Goes to there. And then just a regular one right there. What I use to take those out is uh, this uh, T30. T30. So now they all just lose now, and you're gonna have to pry this thing open. There, uh, there's a lot of uh, probably three or four pushing retainers that you had to pry it out. So start from the front, and then kind of like pry it out a little bit, and then and trying to like move it forward, and then where you work your way to, to the back yeah you just pry it out like this and then loosen up to the back try to uh, pry out this weather stripping the tailgate weather strip Just a little bit so that you could expose the edge of that, this plastic.
loose on the top. Unplug the two connector with the light and the, and the 12 bolts right there. Unplug those two. Okay, so after you uh, the top are loose, make sure the connector for the wire are disconnect. The seat belt, just tuck it in behind. So that it's easy to uh, pull this out of here. Basically, you just have to like pry it out, lift it up, just like that. Move the seat belt away. There's no underneath here, down there, there's nothing that attached to the vehicle. It's all up here. Okay? It's all up here. Down here, there's nothing. So it's just loose. So you can just lift it up and plop it over on the back of the seats. Just like that. Just like that. So yes, like you can see, this is where the seat belt anchor goes down there. There's nothing on the bottom to worry about. It's all about in the top. And uh, this is that pushing push retainer right there. That there's two more over there, three more at the back. Those are the ones that you had to uh, give a good uh, tug to pull it out of the vehicle. Yeah, that's it. And. Uh, this is where the I believe is down here okay so we had to move this uh, insulator out so we could expose the the two nuts that holds the uh, the upper shocks um, there's a wire right here that you're gonna have to push it out Let's just grab those and push it out. And then, uh, just like that. Just lost my light. And then, just like that. And then you just pry out the insulator when that thing is loose. Make sure this uh, retainers that holds the wire in place are loose. Just pop it out. You're gonna take out the insulator, lift it up, move the wire away. And right there. Now you can see the bolts. Those are the two bolts that you're gonna need to take out. All right, I believe you got 13 mil to take those out. Okay, 13 mil to take out the bolts. Alright, so the bolt is out now. This is the old one. Pretty easy. So everything is loose. Make sure you uh, take the load off that suspension by putting the jack. And uh, now it's, it's ready to come out.
Come on. This is Gable. Damn it. What's funny? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Why? Okay, um, it's hard to see if those two stud is lined up to the hole. So you just go by feel. And uh, if you go at the, up here. You can see the studs coming out. And just put a nut. Okay, so when you have that bolt lined up, uh, make sure to put the bolt in there so that it won't move. Now back down here. It's all lined up up there. So now we're going to have to bring the suspension up so that the bolt hole will line up. That's it. Um, after that, we put the brakes back on I mean uh, the wheels this is a good idea that you don't have to take out this liner all right so after changing all the three bags rear shocks I did not show the how to on this side because I just want to want to get it done and I don't have time to like film and everything so this is the result now from the fender to the tire is about seven inches this one's about eight same thing on the other side so the result this is the result it's idling nice show you on the other side here this is the other side you see that it's way up really high now so yeah thanks for watching